In this video, I will go through your Geometry Unit 6 review uh, for the test over surface area and volume. Uh, so the first section here, we're going to be finding both the lateral area and the surface area of the given shape. Uh, so for this first one, our base is going to be this square. So this is a square prism. On your formula sheet that you have, Okay, the prism is going to be this top row. So our lateral area is going to be pH. Our surface area is going to be pH, which is our lateral area, plus 2B. Okay, so our perimeter is the perimeter of the base. So it's going to be 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, or 4 times 6 which is 24. So this will be 24. The height is the distance between the two bases. So even though it's not a vertical dimension, the height of this prism is 10, which makes the lateral area 240 inches squared. For the surface area, we're going to have the lateral area plus 2B, where B is the area of the base. So it's the area of this square, which is going to be 6 times 6, so we get 36. So this will be 240 plus 2 times 36. So that is 312 inches squared. Our next shape is a triangular prism. The base is this triangle. Same formulas, pH. So the perimeter is going to be 2 plus 4 plus this segment here, which is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So we're going to need to do Pythagorean theorem to find that. When you do that work, we get 4.5 for that hypotenuse. So the perimeter is 2 plus 4 plus 4.5, which is 10.5. So we have 10.5 times the distance between the bases, which is going to be 9. So we get... 94.5. Surface area then is the lateral area plus 2B. So I'll do a side calculation for the area of the base, which is a triangle. So it's going to be 1 half. The base of the triangle is 4. The height of the triangle is 2. So our base has an area of 4. So this will be 94.5 plus 2 times 4, which is 102.5 feet squared. Next we have a cylinder. So the lateral area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. It's the circumference of the circle times the height. So we just dump this information in. 2 pi, my radius is 3. The height is 10, and with 188.5 centimeters squared. The surface area then is the lateral area plus 2 pi r squared, because we're adding on the two circles. So this is going to be 188.5 plus 2 pi 3 squared. So you get 245.0 centimeters squared. Next we have a pyramid. The lateral area for your pyramid, which is going to be the triangle faces, is 1 half PL. L is the slant height and P is the perimeter of the base. 
So the base has four sides of length seven. So the perimeter is gonna be 28. So this is one half 28 times that 11.5, which is 161 meters squared. The surface area is gonna be the lateral area plus the base. We are gonna add on that square that's underneath the, on the bottom here. So that'll be 161 plus the base is gonna be seven times seven, which is 49. So we get 210 meters squared. Next up, we have a couple of cones. So the lateral area of a cone is pi r l, where l again is the slant height. So in this shape, our radius is four. The slant height is labeled as 12. So 150.8 inches squared for our lateral area. The surface area, we're gonna take the lateral area and add on the base, which is a circle, pi r squared. So this will be 150.8 plus pi times 4 squared. Okay, for this next one, same formulas, but we have an additional calculation we got to do. Because in this case, we are given the height of the cone, but not the slant height. So I'm going to do the Pythagorean theorem. 8 squared plus 6 squared equals L squared. Okay, so when we're done, we're going to get that the slant height is 10. So this will be pi times 6 times 10, which is 188.5 feet squared, which makes the surface area L plus pi r squared, so 188.5 plus pi times 6 squared, which is 301.6. Next up we have volume. Uh, this one you can certainly use the formula, but when it's just a rectangular prism like this, the volume is just going to be the length times the width times the height. So we're multiplying those three numbers together, and we get 84 meters cubed, because now we're talking about volume. This next one here is a triangular prism. So our bases are these two triangles. The volume formula for a prism is BH, where B is the area of the base. Well, the area of the base is going to be a triangle, which would be one-half base times height for the triangle. We have the base. We do not have the height. So I'm going to do 5 squared plus x squared equals 13. If that's 13, that's 13. When you do this math, you're going to get that x is equal to 12. Okay. That will allow me to find the area of the base, which is one-half 5 times 12, which is 30. So my volume is going to be 30. H, again, just like with surface area, is the distance between the bases. So that's going to be 20. So we get a volume of 600 feet cubed. Okay, volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So we just plug in 3 for the radius, 8 for the height, and we are on our way. So we get 226.2 feet cubed. Okay, volume of a pyramid is 1 third base times height. So we'll find the area of the base. This is a square base, so that's just going to be 12 times 12. 
which is 144. So we're going to have one third. The base is 144. The height is 9. So you can do this times this and then divide it by 3, which is 432 centimeters cubed. Next pyramid, same formula. Empire's uh, One third base times height. Uh, so the area of this base, this is a triangle. So it's going to be one half. We've got a right angle here. So my base is going to be eight. My height is going to be six. So this is 24. And the height is seven, which gives us a volume of 56 centimeters cubed. Right, for a cone, the volume is one third pi r squared h. Okay. So the radius is two. The height is five. You want to make sure that it's the height and not the slant height. If it's written on the edge here, then we're looking at the slant height and we need to do Pythagorean theorem, uh, but we didn't need to in this case. So this is 20.9 inches cubed. Lastly, we have spheres and hemispheres. So for these first two, we're finding the surface area. So this is a sphere. So the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So that will be 4 pi 6.5 squared. Okay, this next one is a hemisphere. So its surface area is going to be 3 pi r squared. Okay, the diameter is 32, which means my radius is 16, which we get 2,412.7 meters squared for that. Volume, this one's a hemisphere, so the volume is 2 thirds pi r cubed. So my radius is going to be 4.5 since the diameter is 9. So when I do these calculations, I get 190.9 centimeters cubed for volume. And then our last problem, we have a sphere. Its volume will be 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we're going to have 4 thirds times pi times 5 cubed. So we get 523.6 feet cubed. So that is your unit six test review. Good luck.